Hey guys, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Sorry, this was the only green that was clean. I know I say it every year, but it's as true now as ever. I am so lucky to have you all here joining me on this journey. Now, before we jump into unboxing this bad boy, I have some updates for you. You might have noticed I dropped the Garmin training from my title. Well, that is due to that race being postponed until November. I just started working on my costume again, made hotel reservations, and picked this up too. I even got my first haircut since October 2019. But hey, more time to train and recover. I needed it. And the announcement made it in time for me to call off my longest run since last year. So all good. So without any further ado, let's bust it out. Now, I got this originally as I had just been filming on my phone and I'd kept it as steady as I could, but you know, I just wanted to bring higher quality videos. The shakiness kind of can make you nauseous after a while. I understand that. But I also wanted to go with something that wasn't quite as much for me to hold as maybe a full-size gimbal and a GoPro. And I did have an action camera already, but I still would have had to purchase the gimbal separately. And I thought this was a nice compromise because it's all in one and it's small. I can fit it in my pocket. That way I can have my phone and it, and it's still not that inconvenient. So if one goes down, I do still have the other. An earlier version of this did come recommended by my friend Heather Jurgensen. I link her channel and talk about it all the time, but I'll link it again over here. And if I can ever get this open, I'll see how, oh, it opens that way. There you go. I was struggling <laughs> for no reason. This is the DJI, I believe it's called Osmo, but it doesn't say it there. The, the Osmo Pocket 2, and it does show everything that's in the box. You have the Pocket 2. You have a cover and some lightning adapters, a power cable, a mini control stick, and a tripod. There is a little look at what it looks like. I'm thinking that it's gonna be pretty light because it is pretty small, that even my hand with its limited grip and weight capacity right now can handle it maybe even better than my phone itself. Originally, I was going to use it for the Garmin Half Marathon, of course. Now that that's moved back, it's still my plan to use it for Berlin if that happens. Of course, I will test it before I actually race with it because nothing new on race day still applies. So when I opened it, it is in this hardcover case, which actually I think is providing most of the weight for the camera. So let me get this out if I can. Ooh. Okay, got it. It has kind of a, a film right here, but it gives you some instructions on it. So what it says is, when using for the first time, follow the steps in the DJI Memo app. And then it has a function button, which is this button right here. And then a shutter or record button, which is notated by the universal red dot. So I'm going to peel that off just so that I can show you the screen. That's a little screen there. And this is where your camera is that moves around. And so let me get the yellow foam out of that as well. Huh. That's so oddly satisfying peeling all these films off. Is that weird? Oh, no, one more. There it is. And I have super small hands. Whenever I get a manicure, they always put the kids nails on me, especially my pinky. Random fun fact about me. So you know that if this is kind of small in my hand, that this thing is pretty little. That's going to be a lot easier for me to hold actually than my phone. I was used to carrying my big iPhone. Now I have the newest iPhone. Is it 12? I don't know what number we're on. Ever since I've started running, they've been getting progressively bigger. So this will be a nice change. And even with my brace on, which my brace makes gripping things really awkward, I can still hold this. You put that aside very carefully and show you what else is in the box. You have your instruction manual on the bottom. And in this little box are all your adapters and power cords and all that good stuff. This is iPhone compatible. I think primarily iPhone compatible. So just so you know that up front. So here's your little iPhone adapter. 
for the newer iPhones. This one, um, I'm not really sure what this is. Let me, let me read this side of the box. I think this is the mini control stick. Man, they weren't kidding. I mean, that is super tiny. Again, my little hands may come in handy, but I think that is the mini control stick. It kind of looks like a Lego. I'm gonna have to read up on how all of this goes on, but I think this just slides into place right above the record button. I could be wrong about that, but you do see an indentation right here, and I think this comes out and you can slide this in. Could be wrong, but that's what I think. I think this is going to be the tripod because nothing else is really this shape. This is almost like one of those mystery pin unbaggings. It's all individually bagged and you can kind of tell by the shape what it is, but not always. Okay, so here's what came out of that bag. Not really sure how that works as a tripod. That's gonna take further reading. What else is in our little box of dreams? We have the wrist strap. I never really use these because my hand always falls out of them anyway, but you never know. You could need it for something. And then here's the power cord. It has a USB on one end, and uh, that's what it looks like to go into your camera. And I think this last bag is the USB charger, or USB adapter, excuse me. Yeah, I think that is the other adapter. The... USB-C adapter, that's what it's called. I guess that means you can plug it straight into your computer with that, that's what I'm assuming. Again, more reading necessary. Let me get this packed up because I don't really trust myself too much with this fancy of a gadget just yet. Go, go gadget, Osmo. And we have the startup guides and the DGI stickers, which you can't really tell. It's on a white background, there you go. We need to download an app. The SD card is not included, so I'll need to get one of those. And I was right, the control stick does go there. Something cool about this case that I just noticed from both reading the manual and just reading the inside of this case, they leave you spots for your adapter so you can carry everything into the case but they also leave a spot for a wide angle lens if you were to buy that separately. Handy. Like so. I think I'm gonna keep that foam in there as long as possible. Keeps wanting to fall out, but you know, safety first. And we have reached the end of the box. I don't know how exciting that was for you, but I am so excited to use this. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell two times for notifications. Bye guys. Oh. I missed some more film.